Oh, this is Tiger the ED 8mm is also good. I never tried it on any real target like a planet. I felt the 12 and 18 was a little bit soft. Probably I should really try test them again. I will do a test. That is really good. I see a lot of contrast. The resolution is not as as good as the otoscopic or Takashi LE. But it is really good. It's good. It's nothing I, that I expected. I'm surprised how nice it is. I mean, uh, when I say the resolution is new, it doesn't snap like the Barlow, or like the Orthoscopy, or the Esfigoni, or the Takashi LE. It's a little bit soft focus, but it can reach focus, but it's not very snappy. But the image purity with this star guard is amazing, clear, beautiful. The satellites of the Jupiter and Jupiter are like, like diamonds, beautiful, glittering in a black background. Really good eyepiece, I'm surprised. <laughs> Why oh, never use this? This is a good eyepiece. This is a really good eyepiece. Okay, I'm now back to the 6mm. Orthoscopic, and if you ask me between the 6 and 8 uh, orthoscopic and 8 ED, which, are, which one I prefer? I prefer the 8 ED. <laughs> that's, the, that's a better image. <laughs> wow, I don't believe this. ED 8mm is better than <laughs> Takashi LED 7.5mm. Oh my god, I cannot believe this result. <laughs> it just put everything that I knew when I wanted to believe it in an upside down way. ED 8mm is better than that. And uh, it costs one fifth of it. <laughs> That's better than that. Oh, I don't know what to believe. EDAT, Stargate EDAT. <laughs> oh, in America they call it a Gina 8mm or something like that. It's actually better than Takashi LE 7.5mm. <laughs> the image quality, the, the fine details, the fine belts of the Jupiter, those kind of cloud belts, more visible in this, they are not visible in LE that clear. God, somebody was in the Stargazer's Lounge all the time promoting this, saying that this is best. And I was wondering why after a while I didn't see him. I think they expelled him. <laughs> he was causing the First Light Optics, who uh, is the sponsor for the, uh, owns the Stargazer's Lounge, to actually practically lose money for it. Because <laughs> they want to promote this Takahashi, I don't know, Teleview, all those kind of expensive eyepieces. And this ED8, Stargate ED, 8mm and others probably will do <laughs> the same or even better. <laughs> Has a f better field of view than the, you know, Takahashi, definitely, and better than the Closso and the Autoscopy. Oh, I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad I got two of this. I think I got two for final viewing. It's amazing, beautiful. Now after using the Saga the ED8, ED8 mm eyepiece, uh, can easily quickly bring it to focus, no problem at all. And uh, Takashi look the image go look washed out in this one. Looks like a Trelleview Nagler, <laughs> the contrast and the uh, Neutrality of the color is better than Teleview Nagler. And comfort is really good. The eye relief is perfect. Nagler is, you have to, you know, it's almost like a nail going to your eye. With this one, you can have a good distance eye relief. It's amazing. <laughs> Why I never tried this before? <laughs> 
I think when people know that what a good eyepiece is this, they will not buy expensive eyepieces anymore. <laughs> Star Guide is the way to go. <laughs>